Mark Wilson has been locked up in a Georgia jail cell for two years. Back in October, TSR Investigates reported that a group of white men allegedly taunted him and attempted to run him off the road, all because he had a white girlfriend. But in an instant, that day would take a turn once Wilson fired a shot at their car and killed a 17-year-old girl inside. In a Shade Room exclusive, Wilson's girlfriend tells us what actually happened that night. It is it's very traumatizing. And what a judge just ruled in court. I'm Justin Carter. This is a TSR Investigates update. Just, it really blows my mind that we are still living in this today. Emma Rigdon was 19 years old when she says that she and her boyfriend, Mark Wilson, went to a Taco Bell in Statesboro, Georgia, for a late night food run on June 14, 2020. They were then approached by a group of white men in a large truck. Mark said that they called me an in lover. Um, they said that Mark's life didn't matter. Rigdon says they left and the group started to follow them. They just, they were swerving right there at us. They were going back and forth. They wouldn't let us go and leave, but they were staying right there with the same speed. Um, then they were swerving into our lane. Um, they were yelling racial slurs. Um, they were hanging out the window. Rigdon has been under a gag order until now. It's one of her first interviews since Mark's lengthy murder trial in August. She testified in court that Wilson only fired a gun at the car because he feared for their safety. She says she also heard loud banging coming from the truck that sounded like gunshots. Then that's when Mark shot again because at that time we thought, okay, they may have been sh shooting back at us. That shot struck 17-year-old Haley Hutchison in the head. She says that they had no clue a girl was inside the truck. Hutchison later died. If Mark and I would have went into the ditch that night, no one would have known and we would have been dead and we would have stayed there for hours until someone came looking for us. His murder trial wrapped up August 31st and after a week of proceedings, a jury found him not guilty on murder and aggravated assault charges, but he was found guilty on a lesser charge in voluntary manslaughter. You know, they wanted Mark's life. They were committed to taking his life. They wanted him to do life plus 105 years. And what we were able to accomplish was really nothing short of a miracle. Attorneys Mallory Davis and Francis Johnson were on Wilson's defense team and bust dozens of people to the Statesboro Courthouse on September 20th. A judge giving him the max 10 years in prison. Mark Wilson, uh, as a black person, had a right in the summer of 2020 to defend his life when he was met with a uh, deadly force from these drunk occupants of this truck. Mark Wilson missed his own early grave. He saved Emma Rigdon from her early grave. They're filing a motion for a new trial. We've missed too many birthdays without him. We've missed too many Christmases. We've missed too many holidays. He has missed too many births of his niece and nephews. He deserves to be home. Prosecutor said that Wilson was not justified in shooting at that vehicle because he could have either stopped or escaped if he was being harassed by that driver. Now, the appeals process is supposed to be a costly one. If you'd like to donate, we have a full link on our website, theshaderoom.com. For TSR Investigates Updates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.